How long have you been at First Presbyterian Church? Since 1996. And um, tell us something funny that happened at the church. Well, <clears throat> you know we collect, every month we collect. We, we save pennies, meals, pennies from, for our meals that we give away. <clears throat> and so they have a little bucket that, that we pass it back and forth. So Chris Lazar always sits in front of me. <clears throat> they hadn't been here too long. I don't even think they'd had Quinn yet. And so <clears throat> she passed the back bucket back to me. I dropped the bucket. It was full of change. I didn't think the coins would ever quit rolling. <laughs> and we just got tickled and we laughed. And we, we couldn't get, I didn't get anything out of the sermon. <laughs> I was humiliated, plus I was tickled. But anyway, that was one funny experience that I had. So. But um, I've loved getting acquainted with them. They're such nice people. Yep. And I love those little boys. They're so cute. They are. Do you have a favorite memory or a favorite worship service or a favorite event? I remember... <clears throat> One Christmas we have the candlelight service, and then when we the choir comes down and goes out, and we follow them out with with. <clears throat> so I remember we we were following them out, and we opened the door, and it had snowed, and it was snowing then. And I thought, well, what a wonderful thing, you know, what a beautiful experience to be here on Christmas Eve, and it's snowing, and we're with our family, church family. That's great. Um, can you, uh, I'm just going to ask you the other ones. You can say, I don't want to answer that one, or okay. you can, maybe it'll spark something. How do you think that uh, God has worked through this church to improve the world? Oh, my goodness. I think this church, <clears throat> for the size that it is, it does so much. And I think going into Haiti, uh, you know, giving... Uh, peace and, and goodwill to those people and helping them physically and mentally I think that's wonderful I think I, I see that as a real blessing <clears throat> also I don't think there's anything that goes on around here that that there's a need for a church to be involved that we're not involved I mean we are a, an involved church we have good people who work hard and I'm not saying that's me but people do um, how do you feel that your life's been improved by God through the church well he's always been there because I grew up in a in a family that was was part of their our life was church <clears throat> he's all he's always been a big part of